What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Starlight Canyon, Dark Chronicle, Starlight Chronicle, Starlight Canyon, Chronicle Canyon, Dark Cr Canyon. Welcome back to a game with me, the Lonesome Ravador, as we continue our little adventure through Starlight Canyon, the back area, to eventually get the, I want to say the Earth Gem, but last time I said the Earth Gem in the, in the Rainbow Butterfly place, and I was wrong, it's the Light Gem, I don't really know. We'll just find out what's going on, and we'll see what's going on in, in this floor as well. Okay, only items, you can suck a dick, Evil Spirit in the Valley, dun dun dun. Okay. Hopefully we can make some good progression we did last time, which means we actually cleared up basically near enough two floors, one of them being like kind of like sub-floor, which you've kind of cleared up before, but oh well. Um, yes, yeah, so sweet. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. It should be all good. It should be all fucking jammy. Um, as ever, I don't really have too much kind of like amazing kind of stories or anything to tell you guys about, which is kind of a little bit bad, because normally I'm like filled with these kind of interesting kind of anecdotes, interesting stuff which has been kind of going on. But I haven't really had too much going on. It's been a bit of a boring kind of old stage for my life recently, to be fair, so you know how it is. Well, I'm not saying your guys' life is boring as well, but I'm just saying, and I, I, I understand myself how boring my own life is. Um, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, uh, dear. But yeah, so if I sound so, um, just, I've sort of, like, I'll sort of use this as a bit of, like, a iron mask. Damn, some. A bit of, like, a FYI. If I sound at all down or, like, off at all, uh, I'm genuinely not upset. I'm not, like, down or anything at all. I am 100% I am A-okay. I just, for some reason, have been a little bit kind of just, like, off recently. I don't really know why. It's been kind of just a weird, like, silly stage. Okay, okay, there we go. Iron mask, more like... Iron uh, pads. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't really been like as sort of tall down recently. I've been entirely fine. So for some reason, my voice sounds a little bit down, like a little bit bored. I'm not too sure why. I think mainly because of the fact I have been a little bit bored recently. I'm entirely too sure, but it's really quite hard to say. But yeah, so I just want like a little bit of, like an FUI, F FYI, just then. Anyway, all right, mimic, baby. Pick up that XP. Pick up that XP. Hello, Iron Mask. My weapon is about to break. Um, and I'm about to break. All right, uh, pick up the boys. There we go. And there we go. And iron mask, more like iron flask. Hey, uh, that was a bit better. That was better than the other one. All right, oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, there we are. Beautiful done. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Perfect. Pick up that XP. Throwing the rock. Picking up the chest. Oh my God! All right. Goodbye, Mr. Mimic. Goodbye. Nice and done, nice and done, nice and done. All right. Pick up that XP. Pick up the items. Okay. Uh, so. Shouty, 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 shouty. Oh. Bread inside, but you can't carry anymore. What a bastard. All right. We're, very, we're actually getting pretty damn close to actually leveling this bad boy to level 5 now, so I'm quite looking forward to that, just so I can finally not have to use this weapon and finally get to like, use an actual decent weapon for a change. Because, uh, uh, don't be wrong, this weapon is beastie, but at the same time, it's sort of like... Yeah! <laughs> Fucking K.O. Alright, um, but the, the only reason I kind of really want to kind of move across is just because of the fact I'm quite looking forward to actually using... Oh, it is... Oh, it's level 5! Okay, never mind. Uh, Alright then, I won't actually worry about taking you guys on just yet then, just because of the fact that this, if this is level 5. Uh, so what we'll do is, if we equip our old compadre of a weapon back here then... Uh, where's it gone? There it is. Okay, so if we also... So this one actually probably has... Fucking 32?! Holy guacamole! Alright, um... So what do we need for this one? So for our bottom one, we need flame and lightning. Not only enough, actually lightning's the only one we don't really have. So... Well... Uh, what does this do? This is flame as well, and flame is smash, but that, I don't think they, I think they only say one point they do. So I think if I just do all of these, every single one of these bad boys, just bulk up them bad boys and add that onto it. To me, this is basically assuring the fact that we most likely probably will have enough, I hope anyway, enough uh, flame and stuff on there. I mean, it will only then bring that down, I think 60% of whatever's on there and stuff, so I'd be surprised if it does like, kind of miss out a little bit. Um, we still got 19. Uh, what are we? What are we dwindling on on the our original sword? What are we? What are we kind of missing a quite amount of? Uh, cyclone. We don't really need it, but in all fairness, I mean, I can imagine potentially our island thing might need cyclones. So we could add. Yeah, we will add 14 of these. Why not? Because <laughs> freaking yolo. I'm kind of dreading how many synthesis points is actually going to require to actually add on to my new weapon, but oh well. Alright, uh, bring them 19 down to 5, that's fine. Uh, and as a final little touch, what we'll do is we'll add... Uh, yes, the final 5 synthesis points will be 5 of these bad boys. We, I mean, we may as well just kind of like, because we're building build up on whatever we don't really have on the other one, so kind of to help our, our weapon being just generally stronger too. We may as well, we may as well. Okay. And... Hey, there we go. All right, spectrumize this bad boy. There we go, there we go. Perfectly done, perfectly done. All right, 
Uh, sweet. So, uh, we have no synthesis points for this bad boy at the moment, so it doesn't really help us out too much. That's okay, that's okay. So if we... I mean, we've got enough enemies around here, I'm sure we'll be able to, uh, hopefully bulk up. Yeah, like, we've got basically just one kill left, that's what we need. Alright. Hey boys, I've missed you. I mean, sorry, my sword has missed you. Or killing people or whatever. Alright. Iron Mask, now I think about it, I think I potentially might have an, a, um... A weapon which actually does need to have Iron Mask... Uh, killed with us on like that. I don't, I don't really know. Anyway, all right. Sorry, Iron Mask. Time to die. Slicing and dice. And to be fair, they, we're actually not doing too much more damage than actually we normally would be with uh, other weapons. Well, so we're doing pretty cool. We're doing pretty cool. I do, I do generally actually quite like the character, though, the Iron Mask. It does actually look quite cool. I mean, like the way it's sort of, like shields and stuff like that. And it's the same kind of way as the Nicolopus. But then, like that one is more kind of. It's quite, it's quite cool. I do quite look, like the way they sort of just basically reskinned it, but it looks actually really quite cool still. All right. So I doubt that's enough. Okay, that's fine, yeah. I was, I'd have been very surprised that was enough there, to be fair. Alright, we'll, we'll be able to definitely be able to bulk up in like another level in like two seconds, I imagine. There we go. Magical crystal, magical crystal. Alright, what we'll do is, as well, is where's my bread gone? Where's my bread? Where's my fucking bread gone? If we equip this back onto her, and if we... So there we go, munch of the bread, munch of the bread. It's not I know it's not quite as efficient as cheese, but in all fairness, it's kind of good just to have something there to kind of nibble on as a whole. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm just like going to the cinema or something. It's nice to have something there just to nibble on. You know how it is. Keep my hands busy, keep my hands busy. Alright, hello, blah, 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 blah. Alright, now you should get fucked very I was gonna say, he should get real fucked. Like just just but just judging by how much fire and stuff we actually have on the weapon. Alright, and block. There we go. Pick up this bad boy. There we are, there we are, and what the day? Flame power! Yup, yeah, there we are. Freaking perfect. Alright, let's pick up that XP. That might just. Almost, almost, almost. This mummy should definitely pop us over the edge. Alright. Mummy! Mama! Mummy! Mamo! I remember, oh my gosh, just just saying that just then really like genuinely reminded me of back in the day when everyone used to always quote that from the fucking family guy in my school. That was a fucking thing for like a while. That was like, Jesus Christ. It's always really weird, like, looking back on, like, what used to be trends and stuff back in school. <gasps> oh, look at that beauty. See, now, I mean, that isn't a huge bulk in a lot of stuff, but the scale, that jumps up a lot. The beast, oh my god, the cyclone. Chill jumps up a fair amount, the durability jumps up a fair amount, the lightning is the big one. Like, holy guacamole. Alright. How are we looking? <gasps> oh, we just, oh, we need the bloody... Damn, it seems that there are some monsters you haven't defeated yet, so Arthur and Rolling Rocks. Ooh, okay. I, depending on how this episode ends, I might go out my way to hopefully hunt some of them down just to jump up to the sh Shining Bravado. Because I want to see how like how early we actually manage to jump up to the Island Sword, which, well, Island something or something like that. Um, I want to see like how early we actually get to it, because then actually see how you know how quickly we actually get to the best sword before actually the end boss, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Alright. Because, I mean, in all fairness, I have no idea what we actually need for the island sword as a whole. So that could be a huge old leap from what we actually got at the moment. So we'll, we'll see how that goes as a whole. Anyway. Okay. Hello, Mr. Chesties. Hello, Mr. Enemies around the corner over there. I'll come to you out in a second. Papa! Hey, more destruction crystals. That's not too bad. To be fair, any kind of crystals at the moment are quite good. Because I have no idea what kind of crystals I'm actually going to need in the future. You know what, Mimic? Just, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just, just stay down, man. Just stay down. It's okay. It's okay. Let me just bust open these. Like, he is as easy as fucking, like, the king mimics are on the other levels as well. So, like, fucking hell. Alright. There are three bad boys here, though. So, I mean, I should be alright, judging by how, like, how wide Monica's, like, slash moves are and stuff. Kind of went a little bit too hard there. Oh, okay. Holy fucking hell. Alright. Uh, get block. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that was pretty cool! Actually, let's take out the fucking mummy as well. That's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, stand it, absorb it all in, and whoop! And whoop! It's like fucking tennis. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll, okay, okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I'll just accept it all in, then just let it unleash a fucking hailstorm on him. And whoop! Whoop! Beautifully done, Monica. Beautifully done. Alright, kind of held my breath for a sec. I was like, oh no! Alright, there we are. Perfect done. Nice. Okay. But yeah, so what I might do actually though, because I'm pretty sure Arthur... I, 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 I've I fought Arthur before. I'm pretty sure they are in the... Could it be the lava area? I'm not too sure. I think it might be the lava, like the, the, the like kind of lava area towards the end-ish parts. But I'm, I, I can't remember to be fair myself, but we'll find out. Anyway, two lightning storms. Lightning stones, sorry. 
And another Geostone. Bloody hell. I, I, I keep kind of forgetting these are actually going to be in here. I know, again, I've been told a couple times that they actually will be in here as well. But, like, I keep on actually generally forgetting they're actually going to be in here at all. Alright. Give me the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the map, baby. Alright. Uh, we got much at the top there. I mean, it looks like it just kind of cuts off eventually. And it doesn't. No, of course it doesn't. <laughs> it's like, you fought this dungeon ends here, John. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so what I'll actually do is, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna end, the, when I end this episode, um, this, um, dungeon floor here, what we'll actually do is I'm gonna actually pop out of the dungeon, uh, like, after kind of finish up, or try and attempt to do Sveda at least, anyway. Um, we'll then pop on over to wherever we need to basically go to actually find some Arthur and whatever the other one is on this one. Because I actually do want to see what it, how kind of hard it is. Do you want to just jump up to the part after going to the uh, Bravado Sword? Because, like, it's sort of like the part after that I'm actually mainly interested in. I'm, I'm interested to see what the Bravado Sword looks like, to be fair. But, like, I'm quite intrigued to see how... Just generally tough the whole jump from Island Sword to Fingjig Sword is going to be. So you know how it is. But anyway. Alright. Time to die, mummy. So there we go. I mean, the, the, the interesting thing about the mummy, though, is like, uh, when you actually attack the mummies, they never seem to kind of get recoil that much compared to most of the other characters. Like, most of the other enemies always, always recoil back from, like, getting hit and stuff like that. Or, like, well, you know, ish, anyway. And, like, the mummies just seem to kind of take it as a whole, which is quite interesting, to be fair. But, yeah. I have to alter my playstyle. Alright, why well, I say playstyle, like I'm all of them playing this moment from recent recent with this and COD, so been, been, been two very different playstyles as a whole, to be fair. Alright, pick up this bad boy. Hey, yo! And pick up this bad boy. Oh, excuse me, pick up the rock, and hey, yo! Alright. Hello, Iron Mask. Time to die, laddie. I do actually really like the iron masks. I actually think they look pretty cool, though, to be fair. I mean, I just like the iron look and some of that. It's, just, it's quite cool. It's pretty neat, pretty neat. Alright, la 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 la. Okay. Slash them and dash them, boys! There we go, there we go. Pick up that XP. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Da 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 All like monsters defeated. The Sun and Moon Sword totally not. I wonder, if they, I wonder how much they actually remodeled the Sun and Moon Sword for this one, though, like compared to. Um, Dark Cloud 1. I wonder if they actually like went out and actually did just genuinely like remodel it or something like that, or they just sort of like copied and pasted it or something like that. Ooh! Poison. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty sweet. I'm hoping I wouldn't poison myself, but that's actually pretty sweet if I can put that into one of my other weapons, to be fair. But I've found some pretty good coins, to be fair, recently. I mean, this is pretty neat, pretty, pretty neat. Um. So I see potential for a hole in one here, but I doubt it's actually ever going to actually go that well. Because, I mean, obviously, you do have to change the colors, and I might be able to just rebound off that wall to the left of it, touch. Well, that's the sort of technically to the right of the um, hole there. And potentially, maybe make it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, fudge. I didn't mean to switch to the mo monster. Please, switch to Maximilian. There we go. He should have his Sveta. Yeah, he's still has Sveta Club. Alright. I mean, my I just thought I might have to jump off this corner here and just maybe bonk it in. Because that might just work. I'm not too sure. Or I might just try and aim just to get it on this side here and just hope for the best, to be fair. So, we'll see. Depends on how many shots we actually get, to be fair. If it's a fair amount... Free. Okay. Okay. Um... We could just... We could just do that. So, I mean, if I just do, like... It's gonna be way too powerful again, isn't it? But... Oh, a little bit off. Okay. Hold it back. Hold it back. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I can... I can sell for that. That rock might just be in the way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this actually could be the quite ideal. So if we do that, just kind of like let it drop, a touch. I don't want it to bounce too. I didn't want it to do that. Okay. Oh, the freaking chest is in the way. Oh, actually, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not quite as much. Okay, that's that could. Okay, that could work. So give it a bit of a whammy. Oh, I can't watch. I can't watch, but I have to watch. Oh, no. <gasps> yeah. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Mwah. Perfection. Mwah. On my CV. <laughs> All right. Beautifully done. Distortion repaired. Distortion repaired. Oh, yes. All right. And I got a medal as well. I think it's the first medal I actually got since for quite a while, to be entirely honest. All right. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Level up bad. Nice, nice. Okay. Let us shuffle our way onto the next floor then. Sounds fucking perfect, laddie. Sounds fucking perfect. Sounds fucking perfect, laddie. Sounds fucking perfect. 
I do, I do love Irish people, I have to admit. Like, I've never, I've never really met that many Irish people in my life, but, like, the a few that I've ever have always had absolutely fantastic accents. Like, my business teachers were both Irish, and they're actually married to each other as well. Um, I don't think they're married to each other just because they were Irish, but they were married to each other and they were Irish at the same time. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, they were very, very nice people. I'll I didn't say very nice people. They're kind of a bit, to be, to be entirely honest, kind of a little bit dickheads, but you know how it is. Um, they were teachers, basically, is the best way to put it. And, uh, yeah, they were, they were right. I, I always, we always, always just did, like, I always just enjoyed, um, always just copying, copying their accents, like, Hello, Jordan! So it's always, uh, always used to be like, so one of them was a woman, obviously, I would have been a man. Um, well, actually, I, I, that, that's a bit of um, a discrimination for a sec there, so I wouldn't I say obviously it would be a woman or it would be a man, because it could be two women, it could be two men. Um, but no, like, uh, yeah, there were. It was always like, Hello, Jordan! Hello! Welcome to business! Hello! Hello! It's always, I don't know, it's, it's always very weird and stuff. It sounds more like a, a camp man or something like that. Hello! Or something like that, I don't know. But I'm, I'm not very good at my uh, Irish accents or whatever, anyway. But, um,. Yeah, anyway, they, they, were, they, were, they were nice enough, anyway. I mean, my, my, the husband as such was the one that always used to kind of bully me as such, which was always fucking fantastic. Like, he was just basically ignore that I was there and pretend that I just didn't exist. It was, it was lovely. It was as lovely as it fucking sounds. And I fucking... No one will ever understand how much I fucking hated six form. It was fucking horrible. Anyway, all right, let's not, let's not, let's not really get onto that. And so I was like, I was like, let's go to a dark, dark place. Uh, what were we going to do? What were we going to do? It was... Ah, oh, yeah, we're going to find... Oh, we're going to find the, uh, the enemies, weren't we? Okay, so... Uh, let's find out. So what was it? It was the build up. So it was Arthur and Rolling Rocks. Okay, so let us quickly discover. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, just while I'm searching up this, I will uh, just say be right back to you guys. So be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after a little bit of like a research and just sort of like saved me a little bit of time of wandering around aimlessly for a bit, actually turns out that both of the um, Arthur and the Rolling Rocks actually both appear in the star area of um, Mount Gundor, which is pretty good. So, um, yeah, so in all fairness, we will actually eventually get to them anyway. In all fairness, we'll probably get to them after this one, will we? Actually, well, I mean, we won't, but what I'll most likely do is I'll probably get you to sort of like skip over um, Venetio's dungeon for now, and then we'll just go straight over to the uh, Mangunda one just to kind of get that done, just so I can kind of level up the Sun Sword, because I actually want to see what it's like when it gets to the island thing, just so I can focus on that for a bit. Um, but yeah, so really, guys, guys, there's really too much else to really do. I was sort of like thinking if there's anything else I can sort of do at the end. All I can really think about, we may as well feed our fish, just sort of like see how hit the fish and stuff is doing. How are our lengths of our stuff, stuff doing, boys? How are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, Hero is still quite short. I'm kind of hoping that at one point Hitlerfish might eventually just kind of boost up to being like big enough just so I can sort of like get that mission done in uh, the fishing place um, in uh, what place is called Palm Brinks. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's that guy who wants like, a, a fish to be a certain length. I'm hoping at one point we might eventually get like that um, uh, this to be high enough to. Oh, hey, good job, buddy, good job. Um, I want it to eventually be long enough to eventually sort of like overtake or like get to that length or whatever because I'm not very good at getting like really long fish But in all fairness there are a lot of like uh, metal missions and stuff which you require me to get like quite long fish and stuff But yeah, um, so guys and guys, thank you so much for watching This has been another episode of Dark Chron uh, Chronicle You guys have been beautiful and fantastic and perfect as ever I hope you guys have a lovely day and hour afternoon whatever you guys are doing right now And I hope to see you guys in the next one So ladies and gentlemen, say la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye Oh, ciao